once on my essential units. It's the central man here, so this is my predictions for WWE Survivor Series 2019. This is the last Survivor Series of the decade, known as the 2010s. So there's 8 matches on the show, no pre-show match, thank god. So it's going to be Renee Young with the, um, some Hall of Famers, probably Booker T, probably sh her room is like uh, Shawn Michaels would be a member of the panel of the Survivor Series uh, kickoff show. So it's basically they're just basically analyzing the um the matches on the card for Survivor Series. So I wish they'd just go in that direction, that format, not with uh with a matches, you know, one match to this before the start of the main show. They need to go back to the dark matches instead of doing like pre show matches, pre show matches, pre show matches in every single pay per view. Not just in like in the main roster. NXT and also AEW. So anyway, so we got about well, basically we got three title matches. We got about one, two, uh, three. Oh, we got about some three or four uh triple threat matches, and two traditional five on five Survivor Series matches. Um, so. We're gonna start with the um the championship matches first, and then the um the Survivor Series matches. You know the triple threat matches and the two traditional five on five uh Survivor Series uh, matches, elimination matches. Yeah, this Survivor Series is built on the evasion of NXT evading the main roster, evading Raw, evading SmackDown. You know you got wrestlers represent the red brand that is Raw. The blue brand that is SmackDown, and the yellow brand uh, brand is NXT. So yeah, l l let's start with the championship matches first. So we're gonna start with the Raw brand. Uh, we got the WWE Championship match. The the the, the titles on the line. This is not an ordinary uh, title match. This is a no holds bar, no disqualification match. Uh, Brock Lesnar defending the belt against Rey Mysterio. Uh, this is Rey Mysterio's first. WWE Championship match for over eight years. The last time he was in this um in a any type of world title match was way back in 2011 against Alberto Del Rio. It was the first Raw after SummerSlam. Um, people the fans want Rey Mysterio walking out of Chicago as the reigning defending uh no as the new WWE champion, but in reality I'm gonna go to the reality prediction. That it's going to be Brock's going to walk out Chicago as still reigning, defending WWE champion. Let's be honest. I can see Brock uh, dropping the belt at WrestleMania 36. I can see a last minute replace, uh, last minute change, but that's not going to happen in my opinion. You know, I don't see Brock's going to uh, drop the belt on the lead in the one of the weakest Big Four pay per view. That is Survivor Series. So. Probably at um probably at I don't think at the Rumble, but I could see it WrestleMania 36. So that was the Raw brand. Let's move on to the SmackDown brand. We got the uh, yeah the Universal Title match. Uh, we got the uh yeah the reigning defending Universal Champion that is Bray Wyatt the Fiend versus Daniel Bryan. This is their first meeting for over five years. Everyone knows that la that n the last feud between Bray Wyatt and Daniel Bryan. You had Bryan just join the Wyatt family. That was important taste. They change up the storyline in the last minute. Have Daniel Bryan turn on the Wyatts. You know, that's another topic for another time. So, quick prediction that it's going to be Bray Wyatt's going to leave Chicago as the reigning defending Universal Champion. You know, if they tend to do this uh, last ch minute change, you know, I said it. I said it in previous videos. I'm gonna say it more times. What's the point? Have a person to win the championship at the previous month's pay per view, and went on to drop the belt at the following month's pay per view. It makes no sense. You know, if they tend to do that, it'll be not Daniel Bryan's fault. It'll be Vince McMahon's fault. It'll be once again Finn, uh, Finn's not going to build new stars. He'll be relying on Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, his two golden boys, and also the XFL next year in February. 
So I'm going to go with The Fiend retaining the championship on the show. Okay, and then we got the yellow brand. That is NXT. We got the NXT championship match. Uh, Adam Cole representing the Undisputed Era. Adam Cole, baby! Defending the belt against the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. I can convinced that Pete Dunne's going to walk out of Chicago as the new NXT champion. Because I said in my uh, TakeOver War Games prediction, I'm going to say in my Survivor Series prediction that this is the same arena, the same state that Pete Dunne won the UK Championship. It was at uh, NXT TakeOver Chicago two years ago, I think it was the May of 2017. He beat Tyler Bate for that championship. I, I, I can think Pete Dunne's going to leave Chicago again as the new NXT champion. I can see the interference by the Undisputed Era. But I, I, I can think that Pete Dunne's going to leave Chicago as the new NXT champion. So yeah, that was the championship matches or all three brands. Let's go into the Survivor Series matches. I'm going to start with the Tag Team Survivor Series match. So, uh, yeah, tag teams from tag team champions for all three brands represent all three brands. Represent the Raw brand, the the reigning defending Raw tag team champions, the Viking Raiders, that is Eric and Ivor. Represent the SmackDown tag team, uh, the SmackDown brand, yeah, the SmackDown tag team champions, the New Day. That will be uh, Biggie, uh, Biggie Langston and Kofi Kingston. And represent the NXT brand. We got the NXT Tag Team Champions. Represent the Youngest Food Era. We got Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Quick prediction. I'm going to go with the Youngest Food Era winning this match. You know, fuck the New Day. Uh, I'm not going to say fuck the Viking Raiders. They're all right. Okay, that was the um, the Tag Team Survivor Series match. Let's go into the mid card Survivor Series match. Yeah, it's a I know it's a triple threat match, so. So representing the Raw brand, um, we got the United States Champion, that is the front number one, AJ Styles. Um, representing the SmackDown brand, the Intercontinental Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. And representing the, um, the, the NXT brand, the NXT North American Champion, Roderick Strong. Representing the Undisputed Era, very, very, uh, uh, very tricky. Um, I'm gonna go with AJ Styles. Yeah, I'm gonna go with AJ Styles winning this match, man. So no, I'm gonna go for me. I like AJ Styles, but I'm gonna go with the NXT brand. I'm gonna go with Roderick Strong winning it. Okay. Um, I think yeah, we got two. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with the uh, women's five on five triple threat Survivor Series match. So, representing Team Raw, we got um, Charlotte Flair, Natalia, Asuka, and Carrie Sane. Basically, we got, yeah, the Kabuki Warriors, the um, reigning defending WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Okay, and uh, Sarah Logan. Okay, and representing Team SmackDown, we got Sasha Banks, Carmella, Dana Brooke, and Lacey Evans, and Nikki Gross. And represent Team NXT, Rhea Ripley, Candice LeRae, Bianca Blair, and oh yeah, Eero Shirai and Tony Storm. Hmm, I, for me, I'm gonna go with Team NXT to get the win. Okay, um, okay, and we've got the fight. Yep, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, oh, well, uh, you know. Yeah, we'll save the women's save. We'll save the triple threat women's uh match um late, uh, in the end. So moving on to the actually uh, let's do let's do the women's match. I like uh, yeah okay. We got the three champions, three women's champions represent all three brands. Represent the Raw women's brand, the reigning defending Raw women's champion, the man Becky Lynch. Represent the SmackDown brand, the reigning defending. SmackDown Women's Champion Bailey and representing the yellow brand known as NXT, the reigning defending NXT Women's Champion Shanna Baszler. Very tricky, man. Very, 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 very tricky. I'm gonna go with any, mini, miny, mo. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna 
Um, I'm gonna give um, the main roster a nod. I'm gonna go with properly Bailey, but I'm gonna go with Becky Lynch, man. You know. And then we yeah, and, and then we got the um the men's Survivor Series match, representing Raw. We got Team Raw. We got Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, Ricochet, and Kevin Owens doing double duty after after that War Games match from the previous night uh, at War Games. Okay, uh, yeah, representing Team SmackDown, we got Roman Reigns, The Big Dog, Mustafa Ali, Braun Strowman, King Ga King Corbin, and Shorty G. And represent, uh, we don't know who's representing Team NXT, but I'm gonna go with Team NXT winning it. So yeah, that is my Survivor Series 2019 predictions. Hope you like it. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash the like button and subscribe to the Central Man Network on YouTube. I wish every participation in Survivor Series a very good luck. So this is the Central Man officially signing out.